Hello, social workers, mental health professionals, and change agents. Welcome to another episode of the Social Work Rants Podcast. I'm your host, Bash Moreno. Saludos a todos. Greetings, everybody. Thank you for tuning in, tapping in wherever you are watching or listening to this podcast. I appreciate all the love and support. We are winding down to season eight of the podcast. Season nine will be starting very, very soon. So if you have not listened to past podcasts, if this is your first time listening to the podcast, welcome. It's been a long journey. So uh, continue to follow the podcast on all social media outlets, uh, Instagram at the Social Work Grants Podcast, all one word on Twitter, X at Social Work Grants, and hit the like button on Facebook, aka Meta, type in the Social Work Grants Podcast. Hit the like button on YouTube. Hit that red subscribe button. And uh, on all audio platforms, like, share, subscribe, download podcast episodes, wherever however, and however you listen to podcasts. This episode is brought to you by Bass Moreno Consulting, providing financial information for people of color in the sandwich generation, providing financial counseling for more more information about it. Uh, I'm looking for clients. If you are an an adult caring for an older adult, such as your mom, dad, aunt, grandparent, and have kids, and you're trying to navigate the finances, uh, dealing with possible estate planning, while also thinking about planning for college for your kids, and all that that goes into it Uh, by all means let's have a conversation go to bass moreno consulting Uh, consultations start at 25 dollars. so let's chat and uh, let's get your finances uh, situated so this episode is uh, well the podcast is not a substitute for uh, individual therapy individual counseling if you need assistance, call your therapist, call your psychiatrist, call 988. Uh, if you really have an emergency, call 911 for my viewers, uh, listeners out of the country, whatever your emergency number is, uh, call that number. It's okay not to be okay, but get the help uh, that you need. So, uh, Did you see the debate last week? <laughs> I missed like the first 15 minutes. I thought they were going to start late. It started on time pretty much. And I spent like literally the first 15, 20 minutes that I started watching just laughing, um, laughing at all the lies Asian Orange was telling, laughing at all the facial expressions the president was sharing and expressing however he verbally he was struggling expressing himself and he picked the worst night to not have the comebacks he needed to to say and talk about his record of things he's accomplished uh, in these three and a half years just a lot of facial expressions aren't able to articulate what he needed to articulate, uh, make no bones about it. He has, and the president I'm talking about, has been losing votes by the day, um, part, mainly due to uh, the war that's going on in Israel. So I know there's a lot of uh, 18 to early 40s uh, individuals who don't like what's happening, um, but people calling him uh, genocide Joe and things of that nature. Uh, I see you, I hear you. Um, however, we now have well, we have a dilemma we talk about in social work ethical dilemmas. We got to a dilemma currently because if Agent Orange wins 
we gonna be in serious trouble. Serious, serious trouble. You know, he got gonna have partial immunity and not full immunity and potential of doing harm to people that look like me, black and brown, is is already happening. If you're not uh following what project 2025 is you need to look that look it up i said this before on the podcast i'm gonna say it again if you are a social worker and are planning on voting for agent orange uh, please rescind your social work license you should not be a social worker should not be a social worker um He's just going to do harm to black and brown folks. Um, he did that first year in office, cutting food stamps. Um, and I remember that clearly because I was working with severely um, um, mentally ill adults and tried to explain to them that oh, how come their food stamps got cut. Um, that was not a fun conversation to have. Um, I do not God forbid, Puerto Rico has a another major hurricane, and I do not need that man on the island practicing throwing paper towels like he's practicing free throws. Um, that image of him doing that is stuck in my head, and no matter what Biden does, he's not getting my vote. <laughs> Agent Orange is not getting my vote. So, you do what you want. You can vote third party. You can vote for yourself. Uh, for a while, I thought about <laughs> writing myself in. Cause, uh, in order to save democracy and even thinking about 2028, um, we're going to have to pick the lesser of two evils and vote the man who's still in office to do another four years or let him do six months and we could all revolt and tell him he need to resign and let um, the vice president take over for the following three and a half years. Um, it's a wild, wild time. Um, so when I first saw the debate, I'm like, he's, Biden is basically he was sleepy Joe <laughs> that no no bones about it then he finally woke up and finally but the articulation to try to say what he needed to say was was not happening um and even like my one of my biggest bones issues with the administration is like they doing good work but they're not articulating the good work that they are doing and to the point people are asking what type of policies he actually passed in these last three and a half years. Go look it up. So it's, again, a lot happening. And, uh, you know, pay attention because Project 2025 is already in motion. Uh, if you saw the ABC uh, interview with uh, Steve Bannon, he got the textbook for Project 2025. He didn't write it, but he got a textbook, and it's thicker than the DSM-5. Um, so I would check out that interview, because whatever that man says, Agent Orange says it pretty much ver uh, verbatim. Uh, so things are in motion for, for it to happen, um, and just it, it's a lot that's happening. So uh, I purposely, intentionally uh, releasing this episode on July fourth. Um, so I'm recording it the night the night before, and um, yeah, we are. We need we need a, the lesser of two evils is the man currently in the White House. Um. And let's hope he wins. And then once 
the dust settles and he's officially de declared the winner and that he resigned and let <laughs> VP take over. Um, since it's, not, it's time to, to wake up, pay attention. Uh, for those of us who, in social work who, who start talking to clients about did they register to vote, if there's still time to register, that they can vote in this election, that let's help these clients get registered to vote because uh, we need every person to vote. Um, it's not just president. Uh, there's a lot of local races that's happening uh, throughout the country, you know, you know, Congress, uh, House of Representatives, uh, you know, they, they're the ones who uh, write the bills and write the laws, and the president is just there to sign them. So um, let's, let's make some good choices, and uh, there's more than just president to, to worry about. So, um, I just needed to get that off my chest. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the countdown to 200 episodes continues. And uh, be safe out there. And a uh, shout out to uh, to all the people uh, in the Caribbean, specifically Jamaica, uh, Cayman Islands, uh, going through a hurricane right now. Uh, yeah, be safe as you can. Um, and talk soon. Peace.